your brother Marlon. And your brother from another mother, Sosa. We just want to say we're so thankful to be able to witness this opening. And I'm so happy to be able to come all the way from New York in these times. And um, love you so much. And the art is incredible. Yes, Miles. You've uh, inspired me since day one. And man, the world's a better place with you in it and your creativity. And it's a blessing to be here in person with you and uh, see the masterpieces always in person. We love you so much, man. Blessings. Blessings, blessings. Big up, big up. One love. And then do you have a favorite piece that you want to talk about that you've seen tonight? Yeah. Go for it. So the name, I'm not too sure about the name, but I heard you, I overheard you speaking to someone about that piece, which is about mom. I didn't know that was a painting of mommy mm -hmm. um, when she was much younger, obviously. But, you know, that to see other people looking at your mom and speaking on it, I don't even have to hear exactly what they're saying, but something struck them. So, you know, it's very touching. Yeah. And uh, I have a few pieces, but there's one piece in that particular room is the family, uh, the two children, and a mother and father where their eyes are really not focused on the center looking eye level at you, but they're looking away. And there's a interaction that's intimate to me that's unknown, but it's known also. And that speaks to me. So it's thank you, Miles, for always letting the viewer explore even more in depth what is not truly there, but what is also there. Love you, brother. Miles, I want to just say congratulations. This work is amazing. The emotional um, energy that you put into these pieces is very powerful and moving, and I um, really appreciate all of that you do, and I'm so proud of you. Congratulations. My favorite piece in the show is Be Careful What You Post. Um, it is a powerful um, commentary on what our black boys have to go through. And I appreciate that you have brought that to light. It's very beautiful, not only um, from the content standpoint, but from a visual standpoint as well. It's gorgeous. I uh, love that piece, and I would love to have it. <laughs> hey, Miles! Congratulations, we're so happy for you. The work looks amazing. You know, I think both Janice and I immediately responded to how authentic the work is and how um, I think a, the direct response to things that are happening within the last couple of years, and we absolutely love it. I, it's, it's beautiful, it's wonderful, and it's direct. And what could, what could, what more can anybody ask than that? So, congratulations, congratulations Miles. Miles. I just want to say, Miles, you did it, man. This is amazing. I love your art. I knew the time we met at uh, the Underground Museum, and I saw your sneakers, and they were covered in paint. I knew this was the beginning of a beautiful relationship. <laughs> but uh, I love the work. I love the show, and I can't wait to see the next one. See you later, man. Love you. All right, and then which piece is your favorite? All of them. There's not, that's, the, that's a trick question. You can't, no. All of them, man. All great pieces. So this today is a wonderful, wonderful full circle moment for me because my darling friend Miles Bridges introduced me to Tara Van Lintel last May and then I became fast friends with Tara and to see them today making magic together is just a very, very special moment for me. I've been a fan of Miles' art for years. He's a very, very dear friend and uh, we're now proud owners of one of his fabulous paintings. So I'm really happy for both of them and really happy that this opening is such a huge success. It's almost sold out. Congrats. Mm -hmm.